What's up, everyone? Jim here from Three Count Thursday. Uh, visually, this YouTube video is not going to be very good. You're going to see lights moving behind me from time to time. That's about it because uh, obviously it's very late at night. I'm coming home from uh, Tim Not the Tool Man's uh, abode. That's where we watched Double or Nothing. So I'm going to give some uh, quick react thoughts to Double or Nothing uh, here for the YouTube page. And for, because of the sake of the visual, uh, maybe I'll throw it up on the uh, maybe I'll throw it up on the podcast feed as well. Um, that to me is about as good of a first show as you can get. Um, action was great. The matches were great. The booking was great. The timing was great. The match order, again, booking, great. Um, I do have a few gripes. I'll mention those here in a second. But, man, what a good show. Um, even even the pre-show. Now, if you, you follow us along on Twitter, at 3 Count Thursday, Facebook.com slash 3 Count Thursday. Make sure you're following along on our social media pages. Um, but if you follow along on Twitter, I was live tweeting the whole night. I did not like the commentary on the pre-show. I didn't think it was very good. I did think it got better during the main show. Um, but I think it does need work. But, it, uh, you know, all the action. Um, every match was a little bit different th than the others. Um, you know, and and the, the, the show built properly. Um, from beginning till end, it was all very good, and 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 everybody brought it. It, it was it was so extremely well executed. Um, and real quick, you know, the first thing we said when it when it ended, it was it, you know it was Tim and myself, and uh, and some of Tim's buddies was, um, you know, if you had to grade the show right now can't think about it give your immediate grade for the show mine's an a um my biggest problem on the show uh is the championship belt unveiling it was there, there was there was too much going on there's just too much going on um i thought you know, I, I think everybody executed it pretty good for what it was. But for, for your championship un unveiling, your world championship, the belt. And yes, it is okay to call it a belt because that's the way, that's how they want us to call it, is a belt. It's not really a belt because it doesn't hold your pants up. That's what a belt does. It's a championship belt, but they, they're okay with you calling it a belt. So, um, uh, I thought the surprise of Bret Hart bringing the belt out was fine. Um, I guess since Hangman Page is going to be fighting for the belt, that it was okay to uh, bring him out. But that that's where it should have ended. You didn't need him. Not that, not that the, the, the people did it, didn't execute it well. But I thought the additions of, you know, bringing MJF and, and Jungle Boy and, and, and everything else that went down in that segment was weird and completely unnecessary for a championship belt unveiling. Um... But, but other... You know, that was my, that was my biggest gripe on this show. There was... A, a few things otherwise throughout the show that um, need work or, or weren't the best, but no show is going to be perfect. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit and pick it apart. I don't sit and pick apart takeovers and and WWE pay per views and 
um, you know, Wrestle Kingdoms or Ring of Honor shows, or if we get any Impact shows, I don't, I don't sit and, and, and pick them apart because it's live. I know how things can go bad when they're live. If you listen to us over our, our five year history, you, you know, things can and will go wrong. You know, we can't get a guest. Our internet stops working. You know, the recording doesn't go well, et cetera, and so on. So when you do things live, that's the risk you take. So I'm not going to over critique it. But the, the belt unveiling was um, my, my, my only real, real complaint. And that brought it from an A plus to an A for me. But man, was that show good. Um, you know, we on the show, we, we regularly talk about how I'm like a WWE apologist and I only like WWE and, um, you know, but I, I was on board when all when AEW was announced. Uh, I, I've been on board with, with, with the idea. I love the idea of competition. Um, and, and they came, they came all out tonight, you know, dicks out tonight. Um, and, and, you know, I give them credit, man. They swung for the fences and, and specifically Cody, um, his ring entrance. And here's the thing, like following along on Twitter, you've seen me talk with people in the past few days about, you know, the shot that Cody took at Bailey and, you know, they've, they've taken shots in press conferences and things this week. It was shots at the WWE. Triple H took the shot at AEW being the pissant company uh, back at the Hall of Fame. Like, th this is what we signed up for, folks. This, it's, it's, it's not, <clears throat> it's not truly the Monday Night Wars, but this is what we signed up for. We wanted competition. That's what this is. And Cody went straight at it tonight with the throne and the sledgehammer. Okay? And it's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. I'm fine with it. But, and like I said, I tweeted it out. Guess what's next Saturday? NXT. So I fully expect that there will be some sort of shot back because that was a that was a shot tonight was a shot with a cannon and a, or a bazooka like the and and we're it, we're at war the, the the wrestling world is at war and i don't you know i don't care about if if people from wwe are tweeting about it and praising aew were saying wrestling's great or they love seeing awesome kong and Greg Hamilton posted a tweet and had to delete it. Like, this this is fun, man. Like, tonight, tonight was fun. Tonight was awesome. For me, my match of the night was was Cody and, and Dustin. Not and not that, I mean the 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 Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers was fantastic. That's that's tag team gold. That match could be in a, in a top matches at a year list. Um, Jericho Omega, the match was good. It wasn't as good as their their, their match at, at New Japan. It was different. It wasn't perfectly clean, but it was a good match. And, of course, you had the post-match stuff with friggin' Moxley. And, and AEW already tweeted it. Moxley's all elite. Like we said, maybe he'll do a one-off spot. Maybe, you know, maybe he won't be full into another company. Now nah, he's in. He they, the AEW tweeted it right after the show went off the air. Moxley's all elite, so Moxley's in. Um, like, but 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 man, Cody and Dustin for a fifty-year-old man to be doing a, a destroyer, you know, for a fifty-year-old man to be bleeding like that in a match, um, you know it. It was it was fantastic. That that match was was so well done. Had so much emotion. And then of course the post match stuff and the way that the that the arena was lit had a had a very WCW feel. That that show had a WCW feel to it. There is nothing wrong with it. But from the minute that came on the air and I saw 
the canvas. That canvas screamed WCW, and I love it. You know, the, the AEW on TNT announced with the flames behind it screamed Monday Nitro, and I love it. You know, we're not, I don't think we're ever going to get truly like the Monday Night Wars again. But man, we are going to get close, and we're going to see shots fired across the bow at each other, the, the two companies, and I, I'm here for all of it. Like, we've done Three Count Thursday for five years, and there's been points where the business was, was kind of getting slow where it was like, man, there's, we've admitted it on the show, man. There's some weeks where it's going to be tough to, to make a, a, a show out of. I, I don't think we're going to have that problem soon. You know, it's, it's the end of May. So, you know, you got June, July, August, September. And then I'm pretty sure AEW on TNT starts in October. SmackDown moves to... SmackDown moves to Fox in October. I don't think we're going to run out of stuff to talk about. I don't think we're going to have a lot of slow weeks come October. I know this week ain't going to be a slow week. I know that much. Because it, it, it got real tonight. Tonight got real. I'm almost at a loss for words after after that show. Like, and just talking about it a little bit. Like, that's why I kind of went silent there for a second. Because, like, I, we've, I think we've all been waiting for this. Because, you know, if you don't, if you don't think that people were paying attention tonight and I don't mean wrestling fans and I don't mean TNT executives like people were paying attention and that's a good thing this th this stuff is is good and it's gonna get better like so, for to AEW, to Cody, to the Bucks, to Kenny Omega, to the Cons, to Chris Jericho, to Dustin Rhodes, to everybody on that show tonight, you did a hell of a job. And I cannot wait for Monday, for Tuesday, for next Saturday and beyond because I think tonight was big enough that things are getting real serious real quick um, yeah, obviously we're going to talk about this on Thursday's show we're going to talk about this on social media so follow us, interact with us Facebook and Twitter at 3 Count Thursday make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page if you found us here make sure you subscribe to us on our podcast feed, patreon.com slash three count Thursday, our home network, ngscsports.com, and our sponsors, Alicia's Pillows and Things, and the Ultimate Sports Channel. Until next time, guys, enjoy, stay safe, stay smart, and go for the pin.